Hello friends, this is Ashirwad here. In this video, we are going to discuss some important theoretical concepts uh, that are uh, related with uh, MySQL database management system. So when we are talking about a uh, database management system or DBMS, we can clearly think of it as uh, simply a software system that allows us to create tables like this okay and in this table we have like uh, we have a student table here and we have uh, these records in it so we can say a table is a collection of records and uh, that way we can identify a dbms that it is a software which allows us to create tables and you can have any number of tables in a database and uh, the, the software which allows you to uh, do this job is simply called as DBMS the next thing is a table is also called as relation in the database uh, terminology so either way I can use uh, this term the meaning will be the same okay the next term that you know you should uh, know is called a row it is also called tuple or record so when we are talking about row record or tuple we mean that a single row okay so in this case uh, as you can see I have selected this row so I can say that this whole thing is a record or this whole thing is a row or simply tuple now the next thing is this in typical language we say it is a column but in database terminology we often call it attribute or we can call it field the meaning is all same so single row is called tuple and single column is called attribute now whenever there is a table that we are going to create in mysql it has uh, it can have any number of records first thing and the next thing is there there should always be a column or a field which acts as uh, a unique identification for every record for example in this case I have this roll number field which identifies each record uniquely so for example if I have two students having same name so what will be the base of differentiating between them the thing is roll number so roll number is a column which contains unique values and based on this roll number column we can uniquely identify each record so this type of column which has this capability of unique identification of each record and which has no duplicate values is called primary key okay so the definition of primary key should be clear to you that it is a field which has unique values and it uniquely identifies each record in the table the next thing is called something like candidate key and there is one more term we use called alternate key and to understand uh, these two things we first need to uh, actually insert I have inserted one more column here scholar number now when we have made this table and when we are deciding or when we are thinking that what field is eligible to become a primary key because in this particular case I have two such fields which are qualified to become the primary key 
सो दिस टाइम वेन यू आर थिंकिंग दैट वॉट फील्ड इज ऑप्टिंग फॉर बिकमिंग अ प्राइमरी की वी कॉल इट अ कैंडिडेट की सो इन दिस एग्जाम्पल विच आई हैव रिटर्न स्कॉलर नंबर इज अ कैंडिडेट की फॉर बिकमिंग अ प्राइमरी की रोल नंबर इज ऑल्सो अ कैंडिडेट की फॉर बिकमिंग द प्राइमरी की द नेम फील्ड इज नॉट अ कैंडिडेट की बिकॉज इट मे हैव डुप्लीकेट वैल्यूज एंड टेक्निकली दैट इज करेक्ट ओके वी हैव अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ डुप्लीकेट वैल्यूज इन द नेम फील्ड सेम गोज फॉर दिस मार्क्स फील्ड बिकॉज द मार्क्स फील्ड कैन ऑल्सो हैव डुप्लीकेट वैल्यूज सो दीज टू फील्ड्स आर सॉर्ट ऑफ डिसक्वालिफाइड फ्रॉम बिकमिंग द प्राइमरी की थिंग सो वी हैव टू कैंडिडेट कैंडिडेट कीज इन दिस टेबल नाउ वेन वी डिसाइड दैट स्कॉलर नंबर शुड बी अ प्राइमरी की फॉर एग्जाम्पल द रोल नंबर फील्ड विल बी कॉल्ड एज alternate key or if we decide that roll number is a primary key then scholar number will be called as alternate key so according to this uh, explanation what should be the definition of alternate key that an alternate key is a column left after selected after selecting the primary key and that column had opted for becoming the primary key or in simple words you can say after selecting the primary key the remaining candidate keys are called alternate keys so i hope you have understood the concept of these three keys primary key candidate key and alternate key now moving on there is one more term that you need to know uh is which is called as cardinality now what is cardinality when you see this table you have number of records in this and if i ask you how many records are there you can count them like 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we have five records in this table so this is its cardinality which simply means the total number of records in the table so since we have five records here we say the cardinality of this table is 5 the other term that you need to know is called degree now degree is total number of columns in the table so what is the degree of this table student is 4 because we have four columns in it now let me make some changes in the table i i am going to delete the last three records like this now what is the cardinality of this table it is 2 as we have two records in the table remember guys do not ever include the field headings in cardinality or in record counting okay it is just the records that you include and if i ask you what is the degree of this table it is still 4 because we have four columns in the table even if we delete all the records from this table the degree of this table remains 4 because the table structure is there although it contains no records right now so these are the few terms that you people need to know before moving ahead to my sql practical portion and i hope all these concepts are clear to you so thank you so much for watching do like and subscribe